All right, I wanted to make a quick video just showing my game over screen. Uh, it's actually a scene. Um, so we can see that we've got a restart button and a quit button, and it'll actually tell us which team won right here, or if no team won, it'll tell us it was a tie. So let me just show you that working really quick. And it's a tie. And then now it should say home team wins. And there we go. Uh, it's really not a lot to it. Um, if we go to the script or if we look at the um, game over scene, we see that we just got our references to the text. So we can say, what do we want to show basically? Um, in our game manager, we've got a method for game over. It sets the time scale to zero. It sets, sets it so the game is not active. And then it loads the game over scene additively. Now that gets called in the gameplay manager. Uh, we have a game over handler and that's just saying if the timer equals zero and the game over scene has not already been loaded, then we're going to run that game over method I just showed you in the game manager. Uh, let's see. I think there's one other aspect to this. Yeah, the game over manager. This is just this is just what uh, holds the logic to tell us which team won. So it's just doing if and else statements right here, just comparing the scores and just setting the correct text to be active. Uh, we just got them as game objects instead of uh, like text variables um, and we just set them as active and that is all there is to it it's pretty simple it's really similar to our pause scene um, we just we I actually just copied and renamed the pause scene and then just removed the resume button and just added the, the different text and I disable them um by default and then it just enables the correct one uh, to tell us which team won at the very end if you enjoyed this video please consider giving me a like and a subscribe as that really does help me a lot with youtube's algorithm thanks and duck bless